In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a free McBoot memory card using free DVD boot, a USB drive, and an official PlayStation 2 Sony memory card. Every step to get this done along the way is included in the video. All the links are listed in the description below. And we're starting now. The first step in setting up free McBoot on your fat or slim PlayStation 2 is selecting the version option with the triangle to find out what model number of PlayStation 2 you have and the DVD firmware version. For this example, I'm using a PlayStation Fat model 39001. And the firmware on the DVD player is version 2.12. It really doesn't matter which letter code you have for which region, it's the firmware number itself you need to be concerned with. Document this information and we'll move forward. All models of PS2 Slim except the 90,000 model are compatible with this process, but if you're using the FAT model like in this example, you need to check your model number and your DVD firmware number against this free DVD boot compatibility chart. For example, as you can see here, the 39,000 models are listed, and if you follow the row of information over the right, you'll find in the description here that it is compatible with version 2.12U. You'll want to grab the pre-built ISO version of free DVD boot from the GitHub. To get the one you need, scroll down on the page. If you have a slim PlayStation 2, it actually uses the same ISO file for every single version of the slim. But since this is a 2.12 version of the DVD firmware, I'll need to grab this one. It's specifically designed for DVDs with firmware version 2.10 or 2.12. This takes you to the page with the download link. Just scroll down a little bit on the page. You'll see the download button on the right side. Click it to download the file. It's recommended to use DVD-R discs with the PlayStation 2. An image burn is a great piece of software for burning the image file to that DVD-R disc. Click the Download Now button, then click the Download from Softpedia Mirror in the center of the screen, and wait just a moment, and the download starts automatically from that point. And on the PS2 Home website, you can grab the free McBoot installer that you'll need to put on the USB drive for your PlayStation 2. Scroll down on the page until you see the FMCB version 1.966 file, and then click on it to download the compressed file. If you already have Image Burn installed on your machine, you don't have to reinstall it, but you will need something to be able to burn the ISO file over to your DVD-R. And Image Burn's a fantastic choice. It's a very standard install process, just clicking I do's, I agrees, continues until you get the software installed on your computer. And once the install process is complete, I'd recommend deleting the executable file for the installer just to eliminate clutter and confusion out of the downloads folder moving forward. Now launch the image burning software of your choice, in this case it's Image Burn. With Image Burn opened up, put your DVD-R disk into your optical drive on your computer. Then in the top left corner, click on Write Image File to Disk. Then navigate just slightly over to the right from there to click on Browse for a File. In the Browse window that pops up, select the ISO file you downloaded and then click on Open. In the bottom right corner of the window, click the drop down next to Write Speed and set it to a slow speed. Either the slowest speed your drive will go or something like two speed should be fine. With all of the options set and ready to go, navigate to the button in the bottom left corner and click to start writing the disk. Image Burn will write and verify the disk and once it's done, you'll get a pop-up message verifying it's complete. Then you can close the message and eject the disk and close out Image Burn. Now you can either archive or delete the image file that was in your downloads folder because you're not gonna need it anymore moving forward. Now you'll need to uncompress the free McBoot file that you downloaded. Once you have the files uncompressed, delete that compressed file to eliminate clutter and confusion moving forward. And just for ease of use moving forward, you might want to rename that folder to something smaller like FMCB. Insert a FAT32 formatted USB drive into your computer and then copy the folder that you just uncompressed. Now navigate to your FAT32 formatted USB drive and paste the folder right on the root. Then you can close File Explorer and safely eject your USB drive. Then take a moment to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on great video content as it's posted. Insert your USB drive, a PlayStation 2 memory card, and the DVD that you just created into your PlayStation 2. You can either boot your PlayStation 2 directly from the disc or just throw the disc in with the power on. Free DVD Boot opens up what's called U-Launch. It makes it possible for you to launch unsigned or homebrew code on your PlayStation 2. Press the circle button on the controller to continue and to advance through the menus. 
Use the D-pad to move the red highlight down to where it says Mass. That means Mass Storage or USB. Select it with the circle button and you'll see the FMCB folder that you created earlier and installed on the drive. Use the D-pad to move the red highlight down to the FMCB folder and then select it with the circle button to continue. Again, using the D-pad, move the red highlight down to fmcbinstaller.elf and select it with the circle button to launch it. In the Free Mac Boot Installer menu, X now advances and circle goes back. Select Install with the X button, then scroll the highlighter down to Yes and select Yes with the X button. There are several options you can choose from, but since you're likely doing this for personal use anyway, just select Normal with the X button to move forward. The FreeMic boot files will then be copied from USB over to your PlayStation 2 memory card. Once it's complete, select OK to continue with the X button. At the Installer main menu, scroll down to Exit, select it with X, and then select OK with X to continue. Then you can remove the DVD from the drive and the USB from your PlayStation 2. Then reboot your console with the memory card still installed. When your PlayStation 2 reboots, you'll be presented with the FreeMic boot menu rather than the standard boot menu. The installation is complete, but why stop there? Learn how to load and play PlayStation 2 games over USB with the video shown on screen and linked in the pinned comment and description below.